Good day everyone. Today we're gonna find out whether the solar generator battery pack is capable to run the air conditioner. <laughs> this uh, air conditioner is the reason why I built this uh, solar generator and it came in the day and I really anticipated to find out whether it works or not so I figured I'd bring you along for the ride. Anyways, I'm gonna give you some specs. It's pretty small air conditioner. It's nothing crazy. So it's a uh, only 5,000 BTU with 440 watts. It's using so 4.1 amps. But uh, with the air conditioner, when the compressor starts, it does draw a lot of amps. And I'm hoping uh, this inverter will be enough for it to to do that. So uh, let's uh, let's find out. Plug this in. Yeah, let's turn this on first. Okay, that's on, 120 volts. I'm gonna plug it in. All right. So right now, shut that off first. Turn that on. All right, that's just a fan. problems for the inverter put it on high yeah no problems for the inverter it's just a fan put it back on low and I'm gonna see if I can get the compressor to kick on all right yeah that was a this on high. Let's do it again on high now. See this voltage dip. Alright, I didn't do it this time. So I had it on high and it would not turn on the compressor. I tried on low. Shut that off. All right, let's see if I can tear it back apart and see if I can turn up the voltage a little bit, see if that will help to kick this on. So far, no good. Stay connected. Well, I didn't tear apart my inverter. Instead, I tore apart my brand new air conditioner. Why not, right? Uh, anyways, I was gonna show you something. It says right here, you have to wait three minutes before restarting. If you do wait, the inverter has no problem kicking it on. So whenever I was just uh, playing with it, shutting it off and on, I didn't wait the right amount of time before I kicked it on. So that's why it's overloaded the inverter. But another thing I wanted to show you, let me kick the fan on. Actually, before I kick the fan on, let me grab my clamp meter. If you hold the, this button for a little bit on my clamp meter, it goes into the whole peak mode so that you will uh, measure the highest amperage it draws during the start and it will show it to us so uh that's just a fan right there let me put this on show you guys something so i just from the fan and this is the compressor 23.9 amps at the startup and once it's running it only draws 2.7 so if we take 20 let's see so 24 amps times 120 volts it's 2880 watts of this air conditioner draws at the startup so that's why inverters kind of struggle in doing it so i did some research and they make this basically let me shut this off so it's not as loud but uh, they make this little uh capacitor helpers basically it helps with a startup it uh, lowers the amperage draw so basically just a second capacitor that goes in there i don't know if you can see there's one already in there that comes from the factory it's right down in there uh, it's pretty dark but there is a 
one you can buy. It's like 10 bucks and I already ordered it actually. It's, it just kind of helps with that M draw, make it a little easier on my inverter. So that, that's in the way and I'll get that in there. But uh, for next, we're going to run a test. Uh, see how long uh, this uh, air conditioner will run on a fully charged battery. Just what I can expect from it. So that's coming up next when we get everything hooked up. All right, got everything set up for a runtime test. Uh, inverter is on. Battery is pretty much topped off. 4.05 volts per every per cell right now. So 24.3 or so. Uh, air, air conditioner is back together and ready. And uh, let me see. And I have the timer ready to go. So basically, I'm going to hit this and I run the fan on low. I have uh, this all the way up so the compressor never kicks off. So it works the whole time. And we'll see how many hours it lasts till the inverter shuts off and that voltage will shut off. And uh, I'm not going to record the whole thing. I'm not going to do like a time lapse or anything. I don't have enough battery power or in my phone or enough uh, space on a card. But anyways, we'll, we'll get this going. I'll be back. Alright, doing a little update. Voltage is down to 23 volts. Right there. We are at 2 hours and 26 minutes. So basically 2 and a half hours. Uh, reliable is doing really well. It's just a tiny bit warm. And every once in a while, the fans will kick on for about 20 seconds or so. And uh, it will cool itself down and it will shut down. So fans are working. That's good to know. Uh, like I said, voltage down to 23. Air conditioner is doing really well, except this front shroud vibrated at first. So I had this up against it so it wouldn't vibrate, but it seems to be stopped now. I don't. I, I think it does it because it's not mounted correctly. So uh, air conditioner is doing real well. And I was going to check the voltage on individual cell just to see what individual cell is down to. See where we at voltage-wise. Okay, positive, negative this out of the way sorry guys 3.87 3.87 so that's cool we started at 4.05 we're down to 3.87 now and we went for two almost two and a half hours so that's pretty good if I can get about uh, five to six hours out of this this will be freaking perfect because this is more or less worst case scenario where compressor doesn't kick off at all compressor keeps running the whole time uh, obviously when you have this in a room and mount it correctly so it doesn't dump heat and cold all in the same place the compressor will eventually kick off and kick back on kick off so that will actually should decrease the power consumption when the compressor isn't running and uh, increase your runtime so this is basically a worst case scenario for us so if we can get about five six hours out of it it'll be perfect that's what about what it looks like looking like to me right now anyways that that will should get about five hopefully six hours out of it uh keep running it i'll give you guys an update when it does shut down and what happens stay tuned all right we are shut down this is what the recovered voltage is 20.1 that's what it recovered to after the shutdown uh, the light is still on let's see if we'll focus a little bit better focus there we go the light is still on so it doesn't turn back on after it shuts down, which is perfect. So it shuts off in the middle of the night. It just shuts off. And uh, there was no noise because the speaker is out, which is also perfect. That's still on, as you can see. That shut down. Okay, what do you guys think the runtime was? I'll let you stink for about for a second. And there's what it was. Four hours and ten minutes. I'm kind of... A bit disappointed, I guess. Not really. I mean, it's still pretty good. Four hours and ten minutes to run the air conditioner. It's uh, fairly impressive. I just thought it would be closer to five, maybe six hours. It started to drop once it hit 22 volts. It just started tanking. The voltage started tanking pretty significantly. Uh, let's see what it is per cell. I got a trusty Chinese voltmeter over here. Let's see what we got per cell here. 
that's pretty good because uh, honestly, after it started dropping off pretty significantly. And if you look at the Nissan Leaf graphs, I just keep moving to the different ones. Yeah, they're all awesome. If you look at the like Nissan Leaf graphs, they do start dropping off after like 3.7, 3.6. They start really tanking down. So, uh, yeah, we get most of the energy out of the batteries. I only charge them to 4.05, as you remember. So, not too bad. Well, this test is done. I am going to put a little start capacitor into here, like I was saying, just to help uh, the load on this and so restarting is more consistent and all that good stuff. So, alrighty, guys, I'll let you go. Uh, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and uh, of course, guys, always subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.